I'm in a booth with uh, eSight, uh, Frank Jones, and I am so bad at names, Yvonne Felix. And this is a product that I looked at online before I came, and this is somebody I actually wanted to make sure I came to see. So what is eSight? Well, thanks for coming to see us. Appreciate it. Uh, eSight is a wearable head-mounted display and camera system. It's used to help people who have low vision see. So it's, uh, you know, we can get into the technical details if you'd like. Oh, you betcha. That's where we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, so if you take a look over here, Yvonne is wearing her head-mounted display. It has a camera built into it, range finders underneath. Those range finders are used to focus the camera automatically. So it's continuously auto-focusing. You can look at near objects, far objects. It's presenting the information to Yvonne's eyes through near-to-eye displays. So uh, how is it uh, doing the distances? How is it figuring that out? Well, time of flight range finders. Okay. So these range finders are calibrated. Infrared or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, image processing happens in that loop, so every video frame is processed. And the trick to doing that is to do it with very low latency. So, you know, good frame rate so that you don't see flicker on the screen. But but you can turn her head and not, uh, not, not feel dizzy. <laughs> not get sick. Exactly. No, that's hugely important and necessary. Uh, so, so we're getting we're getting distances uh, from that, but how is this actually helping her see? Right. So it's a combination of magnification and image processing that's allowing that to happen. So image processing being contrast as a good example, or right. let's say binarizing an image. So like contrast detection on a, on focusing on some digital cameras, use use contrast detection for the edge. Yeah, that edges. would be detection of contrast. In our case, we're actually modifying the image to exaggerate contrast. Okay. So let's say, say we have two shades of gray that our healthy eyes can recognize, but the less healthy eye couldn't turn that into black and white just as an extreme exaggeration that allows the healthy eye to see that, that, dis, that difference. Okay. So, so um, I, I wanted to ask you, Yvonne, uh, what, what visual impairment do you have? I have Stargardt's disease. Okay. And uh, so what, what's the difference between not wearing these glasses and wearing them for you? So if I tilt these up out of the way and just use my natural vision, I have a scotoma centrally that takes up 98% of my visual field. And a scotoma is? A central blind, it's a blind spot. Okay. Uh, so I have a central blind spot. Uh, peripherally, I can see my hands move and very little detail, and I can't see color. When I use the eyewear, I can actually see your face, and I can see you looking at me, that you have glasses on. Uh, oh, I can that level of detail? Yes, yes. So I can get um, I can get as close to you as actually seeing your pupil oh, wow. and the color of your eyes. I think. <laughs> so we're we're looking at her right now, looking at me. In a minute, they said they're going to let me put on the glasses, and we'll see what I see, what I'm able to see with it. Yeah. So uh, when she flips this up, it's it's really cool looking. Actually, it's a it's a big white thing with uh, well, it's got two eyes, which is kind of she's accessorized. <laughs> oh, have you you added yeah, those? those? Yeah. Oh my God, they're awesome! You should totally productize that. It's it's two like googly eyes sitting on it. That, that that's awesome. And then I can see the detectors and and, uh, and receiver there. Uh, but when you flip it up, it sort of looks like regular glasses underneath. Yeah. So my prescriptions actually built in, and they just sit in uh, regular frames. Oh, I see, I see. So, uh, Frank, what different kinds of vision loss is this good for? A lot of types of disease. Uh, macular degeneration is one of the larger ones. Diabetic retinopathy, Stargardt's, Lieber's, uh, quite a long list. You can see them on our website. I think it's listed mm -hmm. there. But, uh, you know, generally, you certainly need visual function. This is not for the completely blind. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of users are around the 2200 sort of range. Uh, some are as bad as 20 a thousand or even a little bit worse than that. Um, you know, if you're 2060 or better, you don't really need the glasses. Okay, okay, I see. All right, so should I put these on? Sure. All right, so yeah, you're gonna have to try. you're gonna have to hold the mic. Okay, on I'll be you. the interviewer now. All right, see. Okay, I'll be asking the questions. This is what you wanted. All right, so I assume I should take my glasses off because it'll. Be uh, you know what? You if you have distance prescription and uh, we can fit it under. Is it a mild, uh, prescription? It's a mild prescription? Okay, then you'd be fine I'm to put it on. Because I'm also wearing contacts. Okay. It's a long story. Um, that there is. goes above my head. That's right. So okay. that yeah, that goes on your forehead. Oh, okay. All right. And, uh, does that go on the end of my nose? No, it, it goes have to yeah, go above your eyebrows. And the, there is a rear strap, which we haven't attached yet. Okay, it's not staying on. Yeah, you're going to have to hold on Just to hold it on? without okay. that rear strap. Okay, so uh, fire it up. Okay. Make it's it go. It's turned on right now. Okay, so there's a, a, looks to be like a PlayStation controller down here. 
All right, I see an Eastside logo. It's been looking pretty good so far. There we go. So Yvonne, All do right. you want to drive the yeah. UI? Then? Yeah, only I'm going to look at Yvonne. Sure. She did it to me. <laughs> All right, keep the mic in close here. They don't want to miss a minute of this. All right, so I see Yvonne. And now what are you going to do to me here? So I'm going to show you the magnification or the zoom first, which is 24 times zoom. Let's lift your hands up a little bit so they can see the screen. Oh, my goodness. I looked away and now I'm looking at her nose. My, you have pretty teeth. Right, thank you. <laughs> uh, so that can go up 24 times, so I'm not going to do that to my face. <laughs> Uh, I can actually change the color contrast, or the, there's binary, different binary modes. So oh, you get a wow. so black with white. Everything's black and white. Mm -hmm. White with black. <laughs> that should be black with yellow. Wow. White so, with blue. so the different colors, why would we have that? Because some people can see some colors better in contrast? Yeah, that would be a frank answer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. Different. Frank tries to give Yvonne yeah. the mic on that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, different people have different preferences, and it also can be task dependent. So, depending on what you're trying to do, you may use the binarization for reading, uh, but maybe not for looking at a face or orienting around the room. Well, so, people would actually read with this. Absolutely, that's one of the big tasks that people perform with it. Before, I was going to show you the menu, but uh, also I'll show you an example. So, if you were looking at print, uh, something that you could do to make it a little bit easier is actually pause the image. Oh, yeah. And then you can turn up the magnification or zoom while it's paused. And you can actually pan your head around the image. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm moving my head around on a still image of her right now. So that's if you wanted to capture something you wanted to read, for example. You don't want to be wiggling around. Mm -hmm. Right. And also, like, we can take photos with the, with the unit as well. So this is really helpful in a classroom setting or let's say you're in a meeting and there's PowerPoints up. You could take a picture of every file that's, that's, that's presented and then look at it later the way you're looking at that still image now. Uh -huh. uh, the same is also true for computer input. So we have an HDMI interface to the device. So you can, this can be your computer monitor. And you can zoom in on that computer display, pan around just like you're doing right now. By the way, I am noticing when I, when I move it around, the frame rate is pretty good. Uh, a little bit of lag, but not much, really. That's pretty, pretty interesting. So I'm going to take this off now. And Mike, I'm going to, Mike. Frank, I'm going to take away your microphone. Frank, okay. I'll take away your mic. Not Mike, I'll take away your Frank. So uh, is, is this product on the market today? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is our third generation technology. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, so we, we just announced this product two weeks ago. Okay, and, I must have uh, seen that press release. Probably. Yeah. So how much does this cost? This costs ninety nine ninety five US dollars. Okay, and is it covered under Medicaid or any of those things yet? Not Medicaid, but there are some private insurance companies that, that can pay for part of it at times. It's very jurisdictional, depends on the insurer. Um, so there's people it works for, they can afford it, they pay for it. We also have employees who work on affordability, so they'll, they'll help people navigate either state programs. Okay, uh, okay, great. Things like that. Uh, there's also um, benefactors who really try to help other people. So oh, that's pretty neat. Through, through uh, philanthropy, basically. Oh, I see, I see. So um, what if, would somebody be able to test this out first to see if it worked for their particular impairment? Right, that's the normal process. So. We have uh, demonstrations that we perform in major centers all over the U.S., Canada. We're going to uh, Europe fairly soon as well. Oh, great. So, yeah, presence in these various locations. And you, you contact us online at eastsideeyewear.com. And that's E-S-I-G-H-T, eyewear.com. Correct. Great. Thank you very much, and you did great. Thank you for your Thank time, you. Yvonne. Thank you.